stick with our guns and go with the same type of plan, or? I still think adjusting the position five here. Like, I don't think uh -huh. picking Bane would be yeah, too it, good of an idea. Yeah, because it's a favorite of them. They yeah, but, a lot. but in this matchup, it might not be so good because Bane doesn't do very well in this kind of situation, you know? Do you think they will, though? Puppy is someone who often will just stick with his guns. He can be a bit maybe more stubborn as a captain. Um, and will just keep picking the same hero. Um, Much the at least in certain of his fans. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm sure he's he's got at least three heroes to play. Of course, no, yeah, yeah. not to say yeah, they're, they're, that's the only hero he plays, but yeah. I feel like he will. I don't think you, he's going to look at that game and think, "Oh, Bane was the problem." I mean, I think there's maybe could have been better heroes, but at the same time, you want to pick a support oh. early. He feels that's the support that you can pick early. And it's yeah, I, I'm not saying Bane is like indirect Bane is a problem. I think it's a priority. Like you, you want to have more team fight against Liquid. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. This is identical draft. Yep. Now, I imagine Seeker like we. Didn't mess up the draft at the start. The Knicks was a great pick for us. It found lots of pickoffs. Yeah, played great. Mm -hmm. If they want to do the same, they will second pick Nature's Profit again even. I don't think the first two picks for Secret were seconds, any problems for them. Yep. I don't think Liquid might change their opener just because Five um, they, they, wanna... they might... Previous they had, game, they, they went for the Earth Shaker had and... They definitely, had, the yeah, profit, they definitely yeah. had problems in the game, though. I got the Shaker. That's, that That's to me is the obvious pick. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Can put it in multiple positions. The question is, will they already pick your Kuro's hero next? Yeah, do they want the AA again or not? Or a different Kuro hero. We've Ten seen um, a lot of games be successful in the last couple of days where Five the supports remaining. are basically two position four supports. They know if they probably pick AA, it's going to be another Nature's Prophet, which is very problematic. Yeah. So yeah, they're going to swap this. I like Ooh, this from Liquid. But they are picking a pug yeah, that... into the bug. <laughs> yeah, when I say I like this, not necessarily the, the pick especially, I just don't think going right into the same AA opener was going to be good for them, but yeah, Pugna Yeah, I personally didn't really like the Oshika AA too much, but this time they'll have Oshika Pugna. And it's only offlane Pugna for them. Yeah, Secret Adjuster they are opening as well, Nyx, Pug, so... Mm -hmm. um, they have two Pug players on the team, so mid or offlane is possible for them. Both both sides having very open ended drafts. I, I, I think Puck one yeah, game this it, turn, it, Puck is uh, Puck is even a flexi pick for Liquid, right? Yeah, because they have uh, I think Matumba and Mind Control plays it. So two very like solid openings. Yep. Ember Ban had like the mid one's yeah, best hero. Like, yeah. That, that kind of obviously not not just the fact is his best hero. It's saying Secret like to pick and, and very successful with as well. Now, previous game, Liquid's fourth ban was a Pugna, so then they finally have to change it, change up their yeah. bans. So the Maybe brood. Maybe has more an idea of what they're doing. So is the brood going to be banned out this time? That is also the main question here. Mm -hmm. And where, if it isn't banned out, where does it get picked? Will Secret try and grab it for Liquid? Will Liquid say, let's third pick it now, so fourth pick it? Really is like a, a big mind game, because there is a point where you pick brood too early. You're not going to first two pick a brood. Could accelerate it to like a third pick if you're late. And do you feel like, because we talk about a channel a lot, and obviously we're not going to see it this series, <laughs> unfortunately, or probably not. But is Enchantress, we talked about it a little bit, these two teams don't really like Enchantress that much. Yeah. Did they change their they, mind they are that? probably not going to pick it. No? Because I think, based on my observation, these two teams, they value team fight. Yeah, in certain, like, specifically, that's why Chen is their priority over the Ench. And team 5 push, like, grouping up. Yeah. And Ench is more like, I just, I'm going to be there to win the early game for you, but I'm not going to be that useful in pushing. And that's also not really Kuro or Puppy's role in the team to be, like, that roaming sure. playmaker. That's where, the, I mean, the Chen does do make some moves, but it's not like an Enchantress, which is super aggressive. That's where you want uh, GH, uh, Yapsa, as well as Yapsa yeah. doing that. Yep. So... And similarly, with the Enchantress Chen, you need a certain kind of uh, support, like an Earth Spirit with them, something that takes less farm, which doesn't really work with like a Shaker, maybe, or a Nyx. I mean, Call made that work. <laughs> yeah, the, sh the Shaker is actually yeah. maybe not too bad. The... So that's the Brute Mana Ben. Yep. They took some time for that. Uh, I, think it's... I think they're going to look at that last they don't. Game. They probably didn't want to risk it, or they, they might be thinking... What if they just third pick it? Yeah, what, Liquid have the yeah, first what pick. Yeah, what if they third pick yeah. it? Or maybe they don't third pick it. We can third pick it. Like, is it worth the risk? And what heroes? What if they pick Brute here? We we don't ban it, and they pick Brute here. What what are our options yeah. available? And we're kind of assuming that Secret likely wanted to fourth pick Brute last game, but yeah. Liquid beat them to it. And again, the same thing happened this game with it being bumped up to third pick. Yeah, previous game Secret banned out the, the Sven in that position, and that was mostly to the Furion. Make sure that yeah. their Furion was a little bit more yeah. safe than it just. So what? 
What's the Matu here, is, I guess? Because, like, the Venno's banned out, the Brute's banned out. The... No, he, he could be playing the Pugna. I guess, yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. I was thinking, yeah, the other heroes are the ones that aren't going to match up great against Nyx, but, yeah, he could be playing the Pugna. Which is also bad against Nyx. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a tough Pugna game for sure. Well, Team Liquid seems to be a little, be a little bit in doubt about yeah. what to ban next. Yeah, I guess with all, all those, with, with, with all those heroes out, you are probably considering: uh, is this a good elk game? Oh, they banned draw, so they are taking wow. out the pushing lineup. So it means that they might be going for something more like late game, like elk, anti mage. Those are possible heroes that are going to be bad against the fast tempo game. So the, those are going to be heroes that Secret will look to ban out. Like, Maybe so that's something that you can read of that draw. Yeah, they they might read it differently, but yes. that's what I'm reading. Maybe Five it's, it might be a possible. Uh, idea that Liquid has right now. And, it, and it's only one band, so how much can you really tell from that? Because yeah. Ember and, and Chen and Lich are all just specifically yeah. targeted yeah. heroes to yeah. deal with. Yeah. And they've been on their separation yeah, yeah, yeah. So they what might want to have... But if they pick Necro, Necro is against a punk now. I mean, they themselves have played Alk sometimes on mid. Yeah, I think the Alk seems pretty good now, yeah, with the A out. <laughs> I wonder who's going to pick it. Let's Ooh, see. the Doom. Solid hero, so this is their off laner. Yeah. Doom, more late game, like more more lane as well, lane control. It's like really good in a lane. And it's pretty good against Secret because they tend to, in my opinion, teams that tend to stack up farm on one guy and the rest becomes like utility. They play around one person. Doom becomes really good against that kind of play style because, oh, this guy has 20k network. Let's just Doom and we, we, we kill him first, and the high level hero just basically does nothing. So as long as Doom doesn't get wrecked in the lane, he gets some items that allows him to jump in and get his Doom off, it'll be really good against this kind of playstyle. But there's a couple of cores that don't care about if they're doomed or not. Wouldn't then Secret just go for something like that? I mean, like, if a DP is already... You already pop your ultimate, and you yeah. don't really care, or you're a Wraith King. <laughs> yeah, that, that race king's like the. Yeah. Okay, I'm like figuring out what heroes. Then you've don't got really a race king. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Razor. I guess Razor doesn't really care. Yeah. Again, but then you've. I but then you have a Razor. Also, like yeah, Razor, Razor is really situational too. Yep. So I don't know. I, I think Doom in general is really good against Secret Space so. Or Lincoln's heroes, maybe. Ooh, okay, the okay, this is very, very, very interesting. So that's going to bump the Knicks or maybe. Puppy normally plays the bounty, I believe. So they have double melee roam. Yeah. We're seeing this. I mean, we're seeing this a lot at this tournament since TI. Oh, no, but what's the idea? No, but what's the idea here? So they have two invis heroes. Remaining. They pick bound, and there's no jungles on. Liquid. They want to fight, team fight with track, I guess. Yeah. I don't really like that pick too much, though. Ooh. To be frank. It's the the match Liquid is very solid. Like first four heroes, Liquid really really solid. Very clear idea, solid. Got team fight, got good lanes, got late game, got early game, got mid game, got tower push with the partner. Because what I mean, the main reason you're picking bounty is for the the track. Like that's tr strategically, tr strategically you're picking this hero for track. If you're picking him but like with a Nyx. But if you're losing your lanes, you are losing the game. You think you're gonna get kills? You think they could run Nyx in the offlane and puck mid then? Yeah, but then it would be an offlane Nyx, you know. Yep. And puck mid, you're, then you have you're gonna have to pick some AM. Otherwise, because your like, other two cores would be like utility cores, then you need a big hero. does play some of those big late game carries, but it's going to be weird. Another right invis, now. what's wrong? All invis heroes. <laughs> so if that... this was a pub, I would not be happy. <laughs> what? What, is the, what is their plan? I don't know. <laughs> I, it... I really don't know. <laughs> they jump ship easily, don't they? <laughs> we, we, we was really good against Lifestealer, I get that. Yeah, you yeah. Know? Yeah. And he's a Lincoln's hero, so you can actually have something yep. against the Doom. Lincoln's hero versus Doom. There's only Shaker for Disable right now, which makes like... Weaver pretty hard to lock down, same for the puck. Yeah, I guess so. Disable's def I mean, Liquid probably looking for Kuris here last is definitely something heavy disable, whether it's so, Lion, Shaman, so the last, Disruptor. The last hero is probably still open for Secret. They could do puck off lane or puck mid. But I guess ah, it's bad. more likely maybe they're going to give mid one uh, the last hero. Not sure. Depending on the situation, Liquid removes the Mirana. So. They. I think it's an uh, offlane puck, so they remove one of mid one's heroes. Yeah. Ten seconds remaining. Is there is there a hero for Liquid that would tie this whole thing together? Because you're not you're not really happy with the four there. Uh, I mean, like... Liquid's heroes are already pretty solid. Yeah. I, 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 if you look at the lineups, I think you're more worried for Secret. <laughs> yeah. So so which hero for Secret would tie tie it all together? I don't know though. I really uh, don't. Know. Not sure. Maybe like a Dragonite. 
things that mm -hmm. you just push, take objectives. They don't have. So, uh, like I have to hear that doesn't mind too much about getting doomed. So you're like uh, thinking, thinking a sturdy. Uh, I guess Razor or Dragonite. Mm -hmm. I, I, actually, yeah? I still kind of like because Razor is pretty good against Lifestealer, pretty good against Doom. Sturdy hero that can push, that can team fight. Yeah, and because of uh, his passive, is really good against Pugna because you yeah. slow him down. I don't know. Like Viper. I, I, I think Razor. Razor seems like he can work here. could be quite good if they played a mid lone Druid. That's not really a mid lone. Ah, uh, yeah, lone Druid is pretty good against Doom. They go for the Templar yeah. assassin. Hence the Viper. Banner. Another slash invis hero. So they are. <laughs> uh, hey, so TA would give them. A, so they have a lot of minus armor right now. Weaver yes. and TA is high physical. They have some stuns. They top. have a lot of catch. They have a lot of. Uh, of uh, pick off. Yeah, but what if they don't do well in their lanes and Five Liquid group up? Liquid has better team fight and better siege. So there's no option to not do good in if the lanes. If Secret does not do good in the lanes, this game is pretty much over for them. So, so there's there's no option for yeah, them. Yeah, they have to like, do, well, have in to do well in the lanes. I mean, they they do have uh, pretty strong lanes right now. Weaver, Park, uh, TA, three hero, three cores are really good in the lanes. Mm -hmm. Bounty Nix roaming around with a couple of pickoffs here and yeah. there. You think there's any chance Pugna could be a support and they get like a different mid now? I don't like partner support personally. Yeah. I I don't like. I mean, it's definitely possible, but I don't like it. I'll be I'll be frank. Is there a hero that can they take their lane miracle for right safe? now? So it seems like oh, they could go for Trium Protector. This is the game. Trium Protector. <laughs> I mean, he's gonna get tracked, but everybody can get living armor. It's no, it's a monkey. I feel like this is <laughs> Miracle's hero. Okay. Miracle doing all the talking there at the end. Yeah. He was like, having a chit chat with Puck 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 it, So it's a support yeah, partner. Support partner. Yeah. I mean, you see this bounty, well, you get ca you're oh, countered no, by a no. Nyx, you're against a bounty. You now, the, now the bounty could be useful early game because that's a weak hero. That's true. Mm. But still, Liquid's lineup is just good, man. So you still side with Liquid? Yeah, maybe it's going to be a hard game, but Liquid is still going to win, I think. Secret has mm. to win the lanes. They could, though. Hard. What do you think, Hans? I'm feeling, yeah, I, I don't think it's to me as clear outdraft this time. Um, okay. There's no like X Factor brute pick that's just going to win the Four game. Four Invis heroes. Four <laughs> Invis heroes. Yeah, but laning wise, like this uh, monkey theoretically I'll buy a going gem. mid. I'll buy a gem early. Okay, you buy a gem. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you getting the money for that? <laughs> well, Are we seeker for game two? You, you, okay, yeah. so we are actually split I, on I the think panel. We're for a game. He's tilted. Let's see if we're going to get a third game in the semifinals or not. Let's hear what Odie Pixel and Fucked up to say about that. It is over to them for game number two. Thank you very much, Shiva. And indeed, you could hear it in Winter's voice. He was not <laughs> impressed by not the, the four invis draft from the side of Secret. Are you sort of agreeing with Winter? Are you a little skeptical of what Secret's trying here in game two? Definitely a little bit. You can see why that they picked the Weaver and the TA, though. They're going for the lane matchups. Just like they're saying, they really like Weaver versus Lifestealer, incredibly good. TA versus Lifestealer, very good as well. And there's no real direct things that, I mean, there wasn't too many things to deal with, uh, I guess. The, T, or the Weaver, you know, there's not the, the greatest amount of catch, it's just like the Fissure into that, but now they've got Monkey King, they've got Boundless Strike as well to catch up to him. I think it's, I think it's pretty tough for Secret this game again, but that being said, they did play incredibly well that last game, their laning phase and their mid game was quite good. Liquid just were able to out maneuver them and out team fight them once it got to that point. Still liking, I do like what Liquid's got going for them here. Just, we're gonna see if they're able to get, make the Monkey King work. I think it's been losing all of its games, right? It's been having a tough time. I'm pretty sure, yeah, the stats for it haven't been great. We sort of saw at the start of this tournament a lot of teams try and play around with it, but it sort of fell off after the first day or two. And then indeed now it's back here for Liquid, for Miracle. You could certainly see the team consulting with him what he wanted to play. And uh, it certainly can be a fun hero. So I'm sure if you give Miracle the option, it's, it's going to be one that he is, he is going to say that he wants to give, it, give a bit of a shot with. Yeah, it can be. It can be absurd. It yeah. really can get to that point where you can't team fight into bees, you can't walk into the Wukong's command, and at some point when you're playing versus this kind of lineup, you have to because they have a Pugna. Although it is a support Pugna, which is quite it a is. different. But we don't I, see that every day. I used to, I used to really like this yeah. here on support for a while because you're so speedy, you do a lot of damage and everything. You just have to get out of the laning phase quite well. And in the past, it was very difficult because you were playing versus these super tough to play laning heroes like Legion Commander every single game, stuff like that. This game, you can tell why they did it, though. They're playing versus the Nyx Assassin. They're like, we don't really want core Pugna versus Nyx. You, get, you just take so much damage. And not only just Nyx, but Nyx Pugna, or Nyx Puck. Puck, massive ma magical burst. So they switch it to this role. And if anyone can do it, it's Liquid. All right, look at, of course, the lanes that we've got going on. We will have Fada on the top lane on the Puck. And uh, going down to the bottom will be that Weaver. Nice. 
for secret. So these sort of lanes that we've got coming out with Ace on the bottom, Father Hook on the top, uh, are these going to be certain matchups that Secret is intending to get, or, or is this Liquid actually sort of getting the upper hand off the, the lane matchups? So this is what Secret wants, but yep. I don't know if Liquid's too disappointed with the okay. matchups that they're going to be getting here. Mid lane, Miracle. Low armor, low armor far, Monkey King yeah. has to be careful to get harassed too much. But mid one knows how to play versus the hero, you know, you just wait till you don't get... I mean, Wait yeah. to get three jingles and then you run in. Trouble. Miracle might die. Nice Fisher. Very nice Fisher, but the stun will still connect. Yapso finds it up to the high ground. GH trying to hold them back, but Miracle should fall. Fairfire not enough to save him. Puppy finds the first blood. Indeed, as you say, that zero armor Monkey King at level one. Very susceptible to these sort of slow but short like, punches. It looked like Miracle was pretty confident he could turn and kill that because he could have just ran. He had the fairy fire and he could have just walked into the, the trees there and the stun was already committed. He should have been able to get away from them, but he really wanted to turn and man up in order to try to get a return kill. Because if he does get the Jingu's procs up and he gets the lifesteal going, it might have been able enough to save him there, but... Pretty interesting death there. Top lane, my control is going to be perfectly fine in this Doom matchup. Puck, you know, you have a lot of... you have the base damage advantage here, but Doom, you have Devour. And if he can find a Seder Creep, which there is a Seder Creep right next to him, and he eats it, that's where you nullify a lot of that harassment. And that's because you see it so far, not bad at all for Mind Control, using that Scorched Earth to try and zone Fire away. He's pushing the wave in as well. Oh, yeah, he's actually, he actually just gets the Seder Creep right away too. That's, that's really tough for, for Fada. There we go. Lovely. Plus eight regen. Feels pretty good. Yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> the dream for Doom. Down bottom. GH. It's going to be played around with. Does have the backup of Kuroki, but Ace has come across with the rotation. Look at the blast and the Fisher out onto Puppy. Kuro's in trouble now, he though. He is in a lot indeed. He is just level one. Does only have the blast to play around with. A secret. He's got to dodge the stun. Three heroes chasing him. He's trying his best to duke it out. It may not even matter, and it does. And Puppy <laughs> finishes him off with the, with the right click. Second kill for secret. These rotations from Puppy and Yapso are coming off to good effects of these first couple of minutes. Yep, lanes are strong. In lane, CS wise, very even at the moment between the two of them, despite that earlier pressure being applied to Miracle. Fada's trying his best to out harass the Doom regen with that Orb of Venom, but yeah, this is where my control got a bit lucky getting that early Seder creep. Because uh, if you don't get the Seder creep, you can't get harassed down with the Null Talisman as well as the Orb of Venom right clicks, but yeah, he's he's got it. Look at Yapzor. Heading up towards the top lane, but I mean, even between the two of them, it could be a little tricky. Fada trying to bait him in close and personal. Just burst him down with the orb. And still, it's a lot of regen. Start to back away. Fada's got the salve ready. Yapsor hunting down mind control in the tree line. Yes. Level two on the next assassin. So tanky. Yeah, they just look to try and bully him back. They know that between these two heroes, they're going to have a very tough tank in the kill. They have added Puppy into the fray no though now. It comes up top on the bounty hunter. Maybe it's has got scorched earth three. up though. Yeah, that's true. It's going to be hard. They're going to need to time the silence perfectly, but he does indeed get the score stuff out already. Good use of the spike carapace to try their best. It's close. Not close enough to bring down mind control. Will be safe. Scorched Earth saving the day. Yeah, Scorched Earth plus regen, plus the Tango. Quite a lot. Miracle gets the Jingu on for one, so mid one has to back up for a bit. And that's, that's what you can tell that they were kind of trying to go for here with the Shaker. They always sit around the mid lane of, with uh, GH and on that Shaker, but with Monkey King, you get those three stacks, you can throw a Fissure and you get the four stack guaranteed. Mind control up top. You can chase. Oh, very nice scan. There was a wraparound from Yapsos. Mind control fell incredibly low, but he scans it out and knows straight away that the, there is someone hunting for him. So play it safe. Regen up in the tree line. Make sure that Secret can't catch him off guard. What we see happen all too often, the... The one, you can call them, gets sacked a bit. So they did choose to put the Weaver in that off lane, but they wanted the matchup versus the Lifestealer. But they're emphasizing more on making sure that Fada gets that level six. We talked about, the or the panel talked about mostly how once Li Liquid gets online, they have a heavy amount of team fight. If Puck gets six very early, he can get he can incorporate and really allow those lanes to snowball, which they really need to do with this game. I mean, that is true, but I mean, do you really like this? Because Ace is, as you say, is getting punished. He's getting really punished. He's really falling behind, only having 9 CS. I think they can make the move. I think yeah. he can go top and Puck can start going bottom now. Okay. Because they don't have Disable to catch the Puck if he does choose to go for that bottom lane. It's just an Earthshaker Fissure. But no, they send Weaver back bottom. No, they're going to continue sacking. I mean, they seem to just want this, the, the matchup. Right, he's going to continue to suffer down there, Ace. 
It's a very, very slow start for this this Weaver. With GH in the neighborhood, they even look for a Fisher to try and catch Ace off guard and get a fair bit of damage done to him. But Tuma Man trying to start bringing him down. Forces out the Shikuchi. Now watch for GH. My control actually ate the little centaur, and he's got the cloak aura instead of having the satyr regen now. So it's going to hurt him a little bit in the laning phase, but he wanted to use his devour, I guess, when it was off cooldown. Okay. So he just felt like he needed to do so. And he was clearing the big camp anyway. So waiting for that respawn. Mid lane, wrap around from Yapso, comes in with a stun. Miracle Lane getting out of this one. Mid one and Yapso able to close the gap, take down the Monkey King. Bottom lane, Ace has the Shikuchi. Kuroki Matuma Man, not nearly enough lockdown to hold that. We were in position, and Mind Control did start diving onto Fighter. Brought him down incredibly low, but Yapso, after making that play mid lane, was quick with the TP to top, and will force back the Doom and keep the puck safe. And in fact, Mind Control Puppies here too. could be in trouble. And I've got the puppy wraparound. Mind Control, Scorched Earth on cooldown for 15 seconds. Fighter orbs forward, gets the revenge kill, thanks nice. to his teammates. Very nice movements coming out from Yapso and from Puppy. 4 0, secret. And as the panel said, a lot of emphasis on this laning stage with this lineup. They had to do well at the start, and overall, these rotations really allowing them to to get the lead overall. Just yeah. Ace that's falling behind on that Weaver. And yeah, GH not able to find the opportunities he usually does find yeah. on this Earthshaker with their weak lanes. Life stealer, of course, yeah, Matu is absolutely free farm, so he's going to be the one that needs to bail his team out of everything here. Kuro now in some trouble. Oh. He actually just gets brought Ed down. That's a not going to save him. From the Shikuchi damage of Ace. And mid lane again, Miracle tries to turn with a boundless strike, but a perfectly timed stun into Silence and Dream Coil just to make sure he doesn't get the chance to cast boundless strike and get that ridiculous amount of regen back up. They throw everything down, but it's absolutely worth it. They take down the Monkey King, and very little damage is taken in return. Secret now 6 to 0. They're feeling the pressure already. We see an Iron Talon queued up by Miracle, so he's going to have to resort to the jungle a bit this game to farm and scan comes out it actually catches liquid trying to make that rotation toward top liquid very deep very unlikely that they do find anything if anything those two have to be careful in case secret do decide to close in on them and one yeah sort of hanging around on the high ground by that shrine in case the movement was made towards them they don't have any ancient stacks for mid one. I guess that's the one nice thing that is there for Liquid. They're not going to have to deal with the TA just exploding massively in that farm. But there is a single ancient. He's starting to do them already. And with traps, with with traps, with Bounty Hunter, with Nyx Assassin, they have so many different ways of scouting and getting vision around the map. So they're going to be able to defend those ancients at all times. Well, about the way Yapsor is there is he did pass underneath the courier. Although Ace is not farming, he is leveling very well. He's level 6 already, and they're just putting so much focus on Miracle. He moves toward mid. Look at GH this. GH now. Yeah, they set up with the Carapace into the stun. Another catch out for this roaming duo of Yapsor and Puppy. 7-0 to zero already. They're really destroying this laning phase. Already having Urn Charges now picked up on the Nyx Assassin. And Miracle he used to watch out. Looks like they want to do something here. But yes. now they're able to get a lot of tower pressure. Does have GH... Nearby, Miracle just holding it still as the tree. GH is actually going to be the one to get gone on. Yapsa looking for the stun across the tree line. Beautifully done. Just has enough range. Ace closes the gap with the Jakuchi. GH can't get the Fisher off. Boundless strikes down. But a spike carapace from Yapsa will make sure the Miracle can't immediately chase for more. Now he looks to jump forward. Puppy getting himself away from mind control. No detection, so Puppy will be fine. And with the stun from Yapsa and no TPs coming into that shrine, Yapsa should get away as well. Again, oh secret. They are absolutely doing it in this laning stage. Yeah, it's getting a, a bit awkward too because Liquid's catch is so minimal. They really only have the Shaker and the Boundless Strike at the moment to really go for any kind of like stun and chase down. So you saw Matu TPing mid, cancels yeah. it because he's like, yeah, there's no way I can really get a kill on anything here. This TA pick is really working out for them versus this Monkey King. 2k gold advantage already and this is exactly what Secret needs in this game. They now are sending Yapsor toward top to make sure he can get that Vendetta online. And Fado will be continuing to pressure to our bottom since that's the safest lane for him at the moment. Trying to slam down Yap there with the Infernal Blade, but Spine Carapace is there. Trade some of the damage back. And yeah, as you say, just to amplify how far ahead Bib one is, the difference between him and Miracle. It's Monkey yeah. King falling behind. I mean, could it end up being another game where we see the Monkey King pick suffer? As you say, we've seen it 
It feels like a lot of times here at this land. I'm pretty sure it's only lost. Not been a successful pick. Definitely been strong. Yeah, it's been struggling quite a lot. They need to just make sure they don't give up too many more kills because the, once that bounty hunter gets six, it's, it's going to start being those tracks and he's going to have it at any moment. Look he's looking top. for a courier snipe in top though. He walks in straight away with the doom and that's caused off. He does have the hellbear clap as well. With the infernal blade, it should be enough. The question is if they can punish him in return. CP comes through from Fada. It is only him for now, so nowhere near enough damage to do anything in return. And Mind Control just good read of the situation there, realizing he can get in, get out, and get a freebie. Yeah, Doom's incredibly tanky right now, still. So Puppy went for a courier snipe. He actually didn't have the damage for it, though. He only got one hit, and Kuroki, after that, knows that there was a mid lane ward, so he's going to start that D ward, but top lane. That look of a mind nice control. coil. Very nice coil. Spike Carapace is out just in time to reflect the enchant totem aftershock damage. They'll lose one, and they'll oh, lose two. Nice Yapsil and Fada making the plays on that top lane. Yapsil is playing so well on this Nyx Assassin. Such a good Nyx player. Both games, 5 1 and 4. He's involved in 90% of the kills at the moment, and he gets a tower denied. Yep, so pulling out all the stops here. The dream start for Secret at the moment. The only one who's suffering, of course, is Ace. But like we mentioned, his levels are quite fine. And it's not like he's that far behind. He's only 800 behind the Monkey King, who's a mid laner. But yeah, it's definitely going to be up to Matu to bail his team out of this early game. Now he has got that arm that complete, so yep. will feel fairly safe as well. Once those rotations start to come in, and of course they, they've got some pretty nice ways of getting the lifesteal around the map with the Monkey King. Primal springing into someone. Nice dodge by Fada. The Fissure not connecting on him. He doesn't have Soul Ring. He doesn't have mana for the orb either. Gets brought down. Nice rotation from Liquid. Yeah. They really need to get these kills too because GH needs level 6. He needs that Echo oh, Slam. Look at this as well. The dust has come out. The Absol and Ace have to get out of here. The Absol does have the Haste Rune, so it should be fine. Ace as well with the Shikuchi. Just have to be a little careful. Mind controls there with the wraparound. Does have the stun. Do they have the control with the Fisher? They may just wow. need to. Very nice Fisher from GH. That was absolutely perfect timing from them. You see him like mid animation of getting the time lapse off. The 2 1 2 build coming out from GH. And he's level 6 now. They're going to probably go for a smoke here, but Yapsor is on top of him. He's going to be able to break it if they do go for it right away. They have a dust on Mind Control though. Oh. Instantly broken. They dust, and Yapsor is already gone. He is. <laughs> Classic Yap. He's. Smart Everywhere. Stuff. He's making everything work for his team right now at the moment. Kuro, level 6, getting stalked by Puppy though, and Track is online now. They don't want to be giving up any free kills. Yapsor coming in to join as well with that Vendetta. Kuroki's in serious trouble here. He really is. Puppy, Yapsor, Ace with the Track, Puppy. Make sure he gets the extra 10% from Kuro, and he is gone. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Mid lane, mid one still, 6.3k. Definitely the one that Liquid are most concerned with in terms of taking down. This TA is absolutely massive. Yeah. Doom is quite good for when you have a hero that that's farm, that is this farm though. And they're focusing a lot on making sure that Templar Assassin is at the top of that net worth all the way. And they really need to make sure to guard him. Is he end up getting it? He wants to, but they know he's around. Dust is out, puppy. Will be chased down. There's no way he could get himself out of this one. He'll throw a track out onto GH, but a boundless strike from Miracle squashes the bounty. He's going for the medallion build into the Solar Crest on the Monkey King, the old build that we used to see uh, everybody doing on the support Monkey King, of course. But this game, oh, that's interesting, yeah. it definitely makes sense. There's so much mine in Summer. Yeah. Winter talked about it on the panel. Templar Assassin, Weaver Bugs. It's really uh, just a lot to deal with as a Monkey King in this type of game. So Already has medallion finished up. He's going to counteract a lot of that early. Even though Wukong's command, it does give you armor. It's 130 second cooldown, and you know it's got that channel up. It's not really that that kind of thing where you can constantly just fight with it. Level 10 on the zoom. On control now with the AT. And it's cold on the devour. We'll start being able to climb himself up on the net worth. Puppy in the mid lane, starting to lay down the tracks as well. Trying to keep him at bay, but they come straight in on top of him. They pop the dust. He's pretty speedy, though. Yeah, they don't quite have the damage to bring him down there. They don't have, they don't have great catch. That's what we were talking about, right? It's, it's Earthshaker, Fissure. They have Boundless Strike on top of that. But after that, that's that's literally all they're locked down. Up top, Ace trying to slow down this push, out, but he does. He gets caught out. He plays a little too close to the fire. And gets burnt. The three cores really doing quite well on the side of Liquid. 
Ace is still very much so suffering. It's 3,500 net worth, same as Yapsor. For this mid lane, Yapsor with the wraparound, looking for an opportunity to open up with a good stun, and it will be straight on to Miracle. TP coming in for the Shaker, but with the DD on Mibon. DD and full Deso finished up, and max so level melt. So much damage. This yep. TA is going to absolutely melt through any target on Liquid side. Bottom two, Fada looking for the play on Kuro, but Kuro with the raindrops and the stick charge is just enough to let him survive and Fada gets a bit scared, of course, he's the turnaround. So Blink Dagger on Puck was finished up, great timing for Secret as well. Next Doom, next Echo Slam. Definitely gonna have to go on this Templar Assassin. Mid one is an yes. absolute menace they at this point. They have to do something about this TA. Bottom lane. They're ready to go. Here he is, mid bomb. He's way too fast, I think. Yeah. And Scorched Earth should be enough to get him away. Mind control lives to see another day. Yep. The drum charge expended too. Gets that bonus movement speed on top of that oh, Scorched Miracle Earth. has the eyes here. They don't have that dust range oh. just yet. And now they do. They've caught him out. Puppy will try and get himself out with the extra track speed. It's always oh, it surely doesn't work. Found the strike. Ooh. Good chunk. What a spout. Miracle even now taking the evasion talent on top too to deal with all that physical burst. Miracle now in trouble mid lane. Yapsor and Ace setting up yep. a GH is there. Miracle. Can he be saved by a shaker? It's like he can unless mid one looks to chase. They have got the heal coming through from Kuroki. Still liquid, they need to back up. This TA is very scary. They turn with the boundless strike. Echo Slam comes out, but the Spike Carapace was there. GH ends up melting himself. As mid one comes in with the punches in 17 minutes in, that will be blink complete as well for the TA. Matuma Man tries to open up onto the TA. They do have the stun to catch the mail. Sentry is down. They're focusing mid one. It's a big kill if they can get it, and they will. Mid one is down. Fada finds the punish on the sidelines as he does cut off Miracle in return. Kuroki, mind control the Matumba, do still have to be careful here because Puppy, Fado and Yapso are still interested in fighting with the track out onto Kuroki, he's falling low, jump forward from Fado with the blink, he will pick up the double kill, Matumba man does manage to finish up Puppy though in return, not done yet, they get the Fisher connection onto Fado, Yapso with the stun, make sure that Matumba man won't be able to get his claws into the puck, and Fado will be allowed to blink away. Matu is still s incredibly strong there, and if they're able yeah. to get on top of that Templar Assassin, we still see the problem that does come out. They have ways to break through the Refraction with the Scorched Earth ticking quickly. But Miracle, he is struggling. Two and five on this Monkey King. To be kind of expected, you know, with that laning phase, since he's laning versus a Templar Assassin, it's much harder as a Monkey King in that kind of matchup, with, the, of course, the rotations from a bounty. But Dude. He's going to have Solar Crest, and yep. that's going to help a lot versus this physical burst. I'm gonna say, with the Solar Crest as well, do you think we can expect to see Liquid try for a Roshan with their lineup? Well, they're going to have Deso as well soon, yeah. but Matu's actually getting engaged on here. The stun off the mark. Oh. Jumps in the Ancient. Uh, he's going to have TPs coming in from Mind Control. Oh, now mid one, though. Yeah. The Doom. That rotation, that TP in from Mind Control, just turning everything around there. And they've got to get the rest of them out of them. And Man's going to continue to chase here with the arm. That good stun from Yapsor again. Holding them back. Fada coming in with a counterplay. Dream call and silence onto two. Will jump himself away. They're held in position, but Liquid do have backup. And Secret will run away. Miracle won't look to chase. Only looks to make his presence known so that Secret don't stick around and try and take more from his team. Man, my control always there at the right time. He also picks up the uh, Ice Ogre creep, so now they have the Ice Armor. That Armor bonus is going to help so much versus the Templar Assassin. That he's really the biggest issue at the moment. He's all their damage coming out besides the puck, because Weaver, Ace is still really trying to catch back up in this. And as I say that, my control eats another small creep and gets the Cloak Aura. <laughs> he loves that Cloak Aura. <laughs> He just he wants really to make does. sure he gets that GPM constantly going up. Oh, Puppy. He says, that's mine. Takes the big creep. GH will get the dust onto him, though. Puppy's got to get out of there. Has the backup of Yabsor again. We can see another one of those stuns keeping his team alive. And it will buy some time for Puppy. Kuro still finds the Decrepify with the suck of the Nether Blast. They'll bring down the bounty. The rest yep. of Secret get away. Mind Control going for a... Uh Crimson Guard, and he's about to have it finished. That's going to nullify a lot of the damage coming out from Secret. Yeah, I really like that. That's some smart itemization from Batum, uh, sorry, from Mind Control, as you say. A lot of itsy-bitsy right clicks coming out from, from Secret. He's yeah. really recognizing that he needs to be a hard farming hero in this game, just because of the, the way that the mid matchup kind of went out. So he's using Devour every single time it's off cooldown oh, yeah. on any creep. It doesn't you got to get the, the most from that plus AT yeah. talent. He doesn't care. Get if it, all the gold. Ice Armor might be the most important thing this game. Maybe the stun creep as well in some situations, but he knows he needs to be incredibly farmed this game. They're trying to stalk for Matu here, but he knows. He saw the trap get placed down. I was going to say, and they may have learned their lesson after trying to fight around that shrine last 
It was not a success. So you were saying about the uh, the Roche potential for Liquid? Yes, it is very it's high. very high, isn't This it? is yeah. a very important Roche game. I yeah. think it's it's more important that Secret gets the Roche than Liquid does, but I think Liquid just needs to play around it, make sure that that Templar Sizing can't sneak and get that Aegis. Because Aegis versus the Echo Slam and versus the Doom is absolutely ideal. We see Kuro place a sentry, Whoa. and they're starting to play around the pit. Yeah, both teams have their eyes on that Roche amp. Liquid just needs to make sure that Secret doesn't take us. Doom is back online now. And with Crimson Guard, Liquid is pretty damn strong inside they're, of a fight here. Yeah, they are, they're in a good place to take a team fight. Solar Crest plus Desolator. And they have like Pugna with Death Ward plus on top of Wukong's Command. This fight could be quite difficult for a Secret to take. GH. We'll see Puppy coming around the corner underneath the sentry. He has to be careful. Mid one, if he jumps in, they could look to quickly take him out. There's the jump with the mouse strike. Not even a chance to get the Fisher out. Too much physical. Uh oh. Liquid's in the pit. It's down to half health. Fada throws the orb across. Secret, they want to get involved. Japso finds the stun. Onto Miracle. They're trying to force Liquid out of this. Crimson Guard's out. As you can see, very minimal damage being done by Ace, of course. Onto Mind Control with that Crimson Guard. And scores Jab. Fada jumps in. Silence onto three. Bringing them down low. Liquid's still inside the pit. Yapsaw gets the sun out onto two. But now the Wukong's command is out from Miracle. He's trying to protect this Roche. Oh, instant doom onto Ace, who just gets squashed by Liquid. They get the Aegis. Liquid have found the Roshan. Now they've got to just try and get themselves out. Mid one jumping forward. Two stun. Again, the stun from Yapsaw. Secret will clean up the vast majority of Liquid's lineup. They'll look to take the Aegis out of their hands as well. Can they kill Matumba a second time? He has the Rage, goes for the TP, nothing to go through it. Matumba Man will get back to safety. They lose a lot, but as you said, Liquid do make sure that they are the ones to get Roche in the Aegis and that Secret do not get it in their hands. It is important to do that, but when you give up that many track kills, it might not even be that worth it at the end of the day. I think that they still need to make oh, sure that GH. that Roche doesn't go, but GH is just getting punished so oh, hard here. Oh, look at that damage, mid one, TA. Oh, God. Diffusal Blade about to be finished up now oh, for mid one. Oh, he's got so much money. Mid one. Massive. You see now that mid one was over the moon when he saw that Monkey King mid come into the game. He was ready to outplay him yep. with the T8. And it's, as you say, you just look at the difference now between them still. 5k difference between Miracle and mid one. Yeah, Liquid not having Earthshaker in that fight was the, the biggest detriment to them. Because yeah. not having that lockdown, which they really much so need. How close is he? He's falling behind so on the blink dagger time. It's going to be a slow one, isn't it? This game's thousand, yeah. thousand gold away stone. It's 22 minutes. Very rare to see him get it, be getting it this late. And, that last fight, we saw Miracle, he kept trying to throw the Wukong's oh command, boy. but I think he got bashed by Roche twice, and then that's when Fada initiated the really silence. Yeah. The Wukong command came out quite late. They were able to finish the Roche, but yeah, it was at a very expensive cost. And look at this as well. There's a double damage in that bottle of mid one. You've got to run. Mid one's just going to jump in. It will get fissured. Decrepify as they try and heal a Miracle. He'll get the Carapace. power to strike out, but he is indeed gone. Ends up killing himself. They have to run. Mid one. I don't think he, he's still got the DD in his bottle, hasn't he? He's not, yep. not felt the use to pop it yet. Knows that they're just going to retreat. He's already building towards that MKB. Oh. He's going to have it at such an early time to deal with that solo oh crest invasion. Oh my goodness. And this TA. Looking very troublesome at the moment for Liquid. Yapsor stalking his prey. Yep. Eyes on Takuro. Here's the squishy one. We'll go back up to base. Should be fine. Secret 21 to 11, 9k gold lead. Just 24 minutes in. Yeah, so down bottom trying to set things up with a spike cap as he does. Mid one jumps in with a DD. That is Kuro gone. 30 seconds. No Pugna. Miracle will be back up. A secret turning their attention towards the tier three. Get the stun. Nice oh, the force as well. Bringing him into the reach of mid one. Crimson Guard doing absolutely nothing. And mid one's not done. He's diving in very deep. Oh, he's getting echo there. Mid oh, no, mid one. That was a textbook throw, ladies and gentlemen, and now Secret are in trouble. The Doom's out onto Fada. Yapsaw trying to get himself out with the Spike Carapace TP. He's not going to make it. Yapsaw's gone as well. Oh. They want Fada. But they they want to try off. and find more. Can they jump in time? They're going to get it. Him. Fada's gone. Puppy will survive. There's no vision. But I have a feeling that Stern Words may be going the way of mid one after that play. That was. That was a, a little ambitious. Way too over aggressive. Way there, too over aggressive. Sure. Yeah. That is, you got to keep your cool. I mean, we were talking him up. He he was so big on this TA, but you just can't make plays like that.
And now we've got a full blink dagger. Oh boy. Full Wait, blink. He's got the blink GH on. Oh, full blink my. on GH now. And not only that, Monkey King gets the last hit on it. What, two of those heroes, I think it was, on yeah, mid one and Fada? Yeah, got the double and Fada. Full, uh, full defusal blade. For look, look at him now. Him. He's right up there. Yeah, he's caught completely he's catching up, up now. And it's a sequence of events that's going to lead them to be able to push now. So a couple towers get them that net worth going. And Ace is starting to fall further and further behind. Secret really cannot make those kind of mistakes. A very uh, painful play there for Secret. Something else that we didn't get to point out, uh, I was clicking on Fada and... Did you see his items? He's got Perseverance on top of a Void Stone. Ooh, ooh. So he, he likes the okay. Perseverance. You know, you're a fan of that. I, I was saying that the other day. He's got about Perseverances and while Ace is gone now, Liquid, eyes on to Fada. Puppy on the front lines, Miracle to jump down. Puppy trying to set up for the chase as Fada and Yapsaw are ready to go. Boundless Strike comes out onto Puppy. They haven't got quite enough damage, especially with Mib one just a little too far away. Wasn't ready to jump him himself for that fight. Yeah. It's really nice to have uh, either Orb of Venoms or Urns versus Monkey King because that damage tick, it doesn't allow them to do in the tree dance and jump around all the time and dodge those kind of ganks. And they do have both coming out, of course, but mid one finishing up the MKB. They're still fine. Secret's still in a very good position. Yeah, how, far, how far away is he from the MKB after the... He's got to finish. He's pretty well. Yeah, okay. he's, he's going to be going toward BKB stopping. next, which yeah. is much needed, but... They were at a 10,000 gold lead, it's now down to 5,000 gold lead. They were at a 6,000 experience advantage, and it's pretty much completely nullified now. Needing to make sure they don't make those costly mistakes. Absol, the spot miracle. Jumping up here. They've got the blink dagger now on GH. I think the next biggest pickup for Liquid is going to be getting that gem, so that they can scout out whenever they do Ooh. see the Nyx and the Bounty Hunter kind of running around, as well as taking out all those TA traps to get that map control kind of going their way. Because they're still playing at quite a bit of a deficit here. This Templar Assassin is massive, but Ace is very limited at the moment. And we do see my, my control picks up the gem for his team. Yeah, GH has so ultimate. You see how important it is when you see a Doom, one of your big core heroes, picking up that gem this early on. They're really recognizing that vision is everything for them to come back in this. These traps give me a lot of information for Secret. Jump in, they'll get the Fissure onto two, they'll move in onto mid one. Momentum wants to try and find the big target, but with a fraction still up, mid one's able to blink away. Miracle finds some control with the boundless. The doom. Doom's down as well. Mid one in a lot of trouble. GH with the echo catches them both. That's going to be mid one down. Yapsil's not getting out either. Two quick. Kills for uh -oh. Liquid, secret unable to return any sort of fire. Oh god, this is... They have to be so careful, like this is the problem. When you have a Templar 7 who's this massive, sure, mid one is enormous. But you're playing versus Doom, he yeah. gets doomed, uh, yeah. the fight's over. Yeah, Liquid's just gonna focus that hero at the start of every single fight. And once he's gone, secret just don't have the rest of the... You know, the they rest of their fight. four heroes do pretty much yeah. very little, especially with the, just the deficiency, the, the little amounts of farm that Ace has. He just can't do anything at this stage of the game in terms of, you know, manning up against this lifesteal. Level yep. 20, Deso Assault Karas working on a heart to Rask. And we're going to see this in every single one of these team fights. We're going to either see a Blink Emco Slammer, a Blink Doom, because Doom is going to be going for the Blink next. Yeah. Or even both, just to commit on top of that TA. He's all their damage at the moment, besides like Puck Magical. Weaver is doing nothing at this point in, in terms of damage. And yeah, Matu, absolutely enormous now too. So much armor, 30 already, and he's getting very close to being level 25 early, and that's where you get that plus 15 on top as well, which is going to make it pretty tough for Secret to bring him down. Incredibly costly mistakes coming out from Secret. And there, there is, as you say, that, that blink completion on mind control. Halberd soon going to be finished for Miracle as well if he doesn't... Yeah. Maybe he disassembles the Solo Crest to just have it now, but... It's going to be a really good pickup versus that Templar Assassin. Oh, yeah, Absol. We'll get the Spike Carapace off in time, but still they bring him down. The Fisher actually done. catches mid one and Fada as well. Fada will be able to jump out mid one. Oh my god. Has no such way of getting out of that. Like his puck. He will have to be left behind. It's Great. starting to become into very dangerous territory. Oh, this really gem is. pickup for Liquid, as yeah. well as that, this, the few mistakes from Secret really adding up. Liquid now ready to go down mid. Take a tier two at least. They melt the towers with that Deso AC. Ace still trying to catch up. GH setting up on him on the side here. 
Has Lincoln's now on the Weaver, so he's at least had to I mean, able to I guess that's nice, deal with the Doom. But as we've said, he's he's not really the one that Mind Control wants to Doom. I mean, Liquid's just going for racks right here. They're trying to force a buyback from Templar yeah, Assassin. With the Deso and AC, they just tear through these structures. It's just dead already. Look at the swing. Oh, God. Liquid. Looking incredibly impressive. And now the lead, the net worth back in their favor. Puppy. He's been spotted out. Fisher's down. No escape for the bounty. He's gone. Ace will pick up Kuro elsewhere. But Liquid finding not only the racks, but now having the accessibility to the shrines. They head in for more. Make sure that they can continue to take map control away from Secret. Map control and just gold for everybody. Everyone is now so rich on the side of Liquid after these last couple minutes. Just looking at the gold you see them, the swing coming out, but not only just that, you look at the green dots. It's all in Liquid's favor. They've gotten so many kills and towers in the last, and they're in the, in the last eight minutes, and now they're going to make it into a rush. Is there any way that Secret can stop this? It doesn't look like it. TP from Puppy is actually down to the bottom shrine. He has no interest in heading over there. Miracle keeping good control, good vision around the pit as he jumps about. Yapsaw revealing that they are interested to poke around, but the Wukong's command is down. Can they try for any sort of steal? Fala a little early with the orb. They're just guarding that rush pit with the Wukong's command. Liquid should have no trouble finishing this off, but Summer Man rages, looks to finish it. Oh, Fada tries to jump it, but immediately gets stunned up. fada has gone. He'll buy back. Can they actually turn oh, this? The gets Doom doomed. is down. The TA in trouble as Matuma Man looks to chase him. He's trying to get himself out of there. Up on the high ground. GH controls Ace. They can't even kill this Shaker. He'll survive. They'll look for the deny on mid one. They will get it, but mid one's out of the game for 75. Puppy chased down as well. Secret lose three. I think this game might just be in the bag, to be honest with you. It, it just goes to show. You just can't make any sort of mistake against this TI winning team, and it it looks to be game over. It's it's just because you know the Templar Assassin's so far, but he just get blink doomed every single fight, and there's nothing they can do about it. Ace cannot walk into the fights because of these, just the sheer team fight that. Liquid does have now at this point, and with this gold advantage, it's it's absurd. From a 10k gold lead for Secret all the way up to a 6k gold lead for Liquid, and the experience is just on another level as well. Yeah, absolutely. He finds the courier. He's looking towards Matumba as well. I mean, just Puppy and Yapso is not going to be enough to keep this lifestealer off. And of course, he does have the Aegis. He's got a heart finish too. Yeah. 3300 HP on top of 27 oh. armor. Good luck. He got the Reaver delivered off the Courier before Yapsor killed it too, but Down now bottom. Father does find GH. The quick Yules from the Shaker holds back the puck. And Fada won't be able to find that kill. And now Fada could be in trouble. Oh, Puppy as Puppy well walks, walks in. The They've gem. got the vision with that gem. He's gone. Puppy decimated by Liquid. Fada just holding his breath there in the tree line. You give Liquid an inch, they'll really take a mile. That's just that one mistake, and then they... They just get so much out of it. They buy the gem, and this vision that's been coming from it, there's just secret just keeps walking into he this wants gem to and dying. This way. There are a lot of heroes around, though. It's a bit of a risky play to make, and he is going to get punished for it. Oh, he's down for 80. No buyback on the puck. He really wanted to cut that creep wave, but uh, they, I guess he just wasn't aware that GH was still around. May have thought that he had punished, he had sort of done enough damage to force GH back to base, but with his tranquils and such, GH. Had no need to go back for that regen. He was there with the stun. Ace just can't even get involved in the game. He's got the Lincolns at... I mean, he got it, of course, at a hard timing because of the lane that he was matched up, but... They just can't take fights at all versus what Liquid's got. And with Aegis and Cheese, Liquid going for that secondary Rax. There's a glyph for Secret, but they I don't see how they defend this. No. With, with Puck dead, he's yeah. their entire team fight. Nyx Assassin is great for getting stuns off and pickoffs, but... Top lane, a Doom comes out, and mid one's just dead alone to mind control. Oh, he tries to push indeed that top lane. And he's, got no he's got no buyback. He's got no buyback. It's game. It has to be. Liquid, they're just going in for the tier fours. Secret, is there any way that they can stop this? They've got no buybacks on either. It really but... feels like the answer is a big fat no. Puppy, just being ignored. Matu with the heart, he can just tank through these towers. He doesn't care. The regen kicks on. They've got Puck back up in 10. But Miracle's just laying down the Wukong's command. The Ancient is exposed with his Deso and AC. Matumba Man and Miracle just looking to finish off the game. Secure their place in the Grand Finals. And they will have it. GG is called. Liquid get the 2-0 here in the semi.
against Team Secret. That those last nine minutes were. I wouldn't. An have, I wouldn't be surprised bad. if it was just radio silence in the Team Secret comms after that playdown bottom. It must have been such a big.